Between 40 and 50 percent of American marriages end in divorce, but the end of a marriage isn't just an emotional roller coaster, it's often a financial one as well. Tonight, Simply Money's Nathan Backrack shares some expert advice on what you need to do before you file and what to watch carefully during the divorce process as well. It's one day at a time, just one step at a time. Getting the divorce um, seems to be top priority, and then, then on out, um, I can handle anything else. Fox 19 viewer Tanya Player is going through a very difficult divorce, and with two teenagers and a mortgage and monthly bills, money's a worry. Forget the emotions about your ex. How, how are you feeling about money? Being able to take care of my children, retirement, and I have one that's headed to college pretty soon. About half of men and women fare worse financially after a divorce. But women are much more likely to get custody of the kids, which means added expenses even with childcare. This is why a financial plan can be a big help. I sat down with Tanya and Cindy Rogers, a certified financial planner here at Simply Money, who also has special training in divorce financial planning. One of Tanya's main concerns is losing part of her 401k. I know it's not fair because it's, you, if you feel like it's your money. And in the job that he was at, he didn't have the 401k. He didn't contribute. But uh, again, it's considered marital property, and that's how the courts will see it. Tanya's daughter will be a senior in high school next fall, and they're already researching scholarships and financial aid. And Tanya's hoping that her ex will help with the remaining college costs. But Ohio law doesn't treat college tuition the same way that it does child support. You and your soon-to-be ex-spouse can put whatever you want into the divorce decree about who's going to pay for college, but the cold hard fact is that the state won't um, follow through on that. Divorce is an emotional process, but it's also a business decision. So before you file, prepare by gathering your financial documents. You're going to need copies of statements from the bank, your investment accounts, and credit card companies, and then pull your credit report to check it for errors. And if you don't have a bank account or a credit card that's in your own name, open one now. And if you have reason to believe that your spouse is hiding money, there's another smart move you can make. Here would be the Simply Money point. Go get a forensic accountant. This is somebody who knows how to talk to an employer, look at the, uh, all the statements, go through the check receipts, and figure out if it's $1 for her and three hours for me. Right. $1 for her and three hours for me. Divorce is stressful, but given the right team helping her, Tanya can get on the road to a financial recovery. You've got enough time that you, if you get serious right away that you can have a decent retirement. You can get your kids through college with loans and aid and whatever it may take. Um, so I don't want you to feel hopeless.